Hey, you guys, welcome to this episode of The Rachel Cruz Show. And today is all about upping your financial game. And I thought, what better way to talk about upping your game than to have George Camel on, my co-host. Is that because I'm constantly up in the game? Up in the game, George, all the time. I've never felt cooler and less cool (laughs) at the same time. All the time. So we co-host the Smart Money Happy Hour podcast and YouTube show. And we just have a lot of fun. And I thought, man, George would have some great insight on this topic. Oh, and I just think it's important because there's small tweaks people can make that can really change their financial game. Yeah, it's the little things and they add up to where you go, oh my gosh, I have money. Yes. That's what we want for you. Because you can like cut Starbucks and all of that, but this stuff is actually, you're going to see movement. It's the big movement. stuff. Yeah, it's, you're going to see movement, which is great. Okay, so start us off, George. All right, number one, shop your insurance rates. For a lot of us, insurance is kind of this set it and forget it type thing. We yeah. get it one time, then we never look at it again. But here's the deal. Life changes, rates change. And don't forget, you're not married to your insurance policy. So if you don't like the rate your insurer charges, you're wondering, can I get a better deal? I would check once a year, shop it with an independent insurance agent to see if you can save hundreds and hundreds of dollars a year. And your current company may be willing to price match a better offer to keep your business. We like that. Yes. Well, competition. This honestly can save thousands of dollars because it's not something that people think about doing a lot. And so, again, if you haven't looked at it and shopped rates in a few years— you could be shocked to know, oh my gosh, I could really save a well, lot. Well, and a lot of people, they're like, oh, my college buddy works at State Farm and he got us set up a decade <laughs> oh, yeah. ago. And you realize, oh, we've been getting ripped off for a yes. long, long time. Totally. It's time to change. And so I always recommend people shop with an independent insurance agent who's not captive to one company. Yeah, which is so nice. We use Xander Insurance. Yes. And, it's, and it is great, right? So when you shop with that kind of person, like an individual broker, you get all different kinds of rates from all different companies, and you're not just pulling rates from one company. So it is. It's just helpful to shop around. And I like the peace Thank of you. mind knowing I'm getting the best deal. Yes. Okay, as a frugal person. That's all you want, George. That's all I in want in life. life. Is that too much to ask? Too much to ask people a good deal? All right. You got it, George. All right, I would say look at your tax withholdings because if you have too many, then that means you're going to be getting a big tax refund. So what that means, it kind of sounds like financial lingo. It's pretty nerdy. Yeah, so tax withholding is simply where your employer takes a certain amount of money out of your paycheck for taxes and sends it to the federal government on your behalf. And again, if they send too much, then you get a tax refund. So the goal here with taxes is we don't want you to get a big refund, but we also don't want you to owe a ton. So you really want to find that balance. And the problem is, is people, again, they, they send too much to Washington, and then they get a refund when they could have been using that money to pay off debt. You could have been using that money to save, to spend, to go on vacation, to go out to dinner, to give. Like you could use that money on things in your life right now. And instead, it's just sitting in Washington, interest free, doing Gross. nothing. Gross. Why would you give Uncle Sam a loan interest free? Ew. Charge that man some interest. Okay, he's should. charging us. We should. So, so you, you want to get this number as close to zero as possible, which is right. really difficult. You might owe a few bucks, you might get a refund of a few bucks but you don't want to be way too far on either side. Yeah, that's right. So I'd rather owe money than get a refund, which is crazy. Me too, George. People are like, why would you want to owe? Because it means I kept the money inside of the government. And here's what's even crazier. Again, not that you want to do this on an extreme side, but we usually, the Cruz household, we usually owe taxes. That's usually kind of our game plan. We, I don't think we've really ever gotten a big refund because we would rather pay less taxes and then have to write a check to, to cover the difference at tax time, which hurts and sucks, but whatever. But it's sitting in a money market account. Oh, Our growing. money growing, and so you're kind of making some money to do Two, it. Two, three, four percent? I know, it's not bad. I'll take that. So I'd rather do that than get a big refund a year later. So, so you can change this with the W-4 form. It's a hard word to say. So talk to your employer, get the W-4 form, there's a new one, and you can change your withholdings so that you get closer to zero. And you get money back in your paycheck, so that'll change. Love it. Mm-hmm. Okay, here, here's one that is counterintuitive, Rachel. Make an extra house payment every quarter. And the math on this one is amazing. You're going, well, this is a money move to save me money, but it's costing me money? No, no, no. That's where you'd be wrong. So let's walk through an example here. Let's say you have a $220,000 mortgage on a 30-year fixed-rate loan with 4% interest. So if you make an extra payment of $1,050 every quarter, you'll get your mortgage paid off 11 years early, which saves you $65,000 in interest. Really? Yes. Is that right That's math? real math. <laughs> Just kidding. That's insane, though. So you're going to be mortgage-free 11 years early and save $65,000. All day, every day. All That's day, every about. day. 65 grand back in your pocket instead of interest. 
And before yes. you make extra payments, check with your mortgage company first. Some companies only accept those extra payments at specific times, or they might charge prepayment penalties. And when you do make the payment, make sure it's applied to the principal. Add a note, check the box, make sure it's going to the principal, not just next month's payment or the interest. So and good. I checked the math on this one because we yep. paid our house off early. Yes. So we got a 15-year mortgage. And we paid it off in 26 months. So I looked at the numbers. We paid about nine grand in interest over those 26 yep, months. Yep. We would have paid 50 grand if it was on a full 15 years, and we would have paid $106,000 if we had done a 30 year mortgage. Is that insane? What are you, you going to do with $106,000 saved? That's Seriously. how I look at it. I'm yes. like, it's like, you just made $106,000. So we, we saved <laughs> almost hundred grand by paying yeah, off amazing. our house early. That's so amazing. So do what you got to do. Make those extra payments. It's so worth it. So worth it. All right, next, I would say don't stop learning about money. So I know it kind of sounds cheesy. I thought you were going to say don't stop believing, and I got excited. Don't. That you, this is oh, gonna, I was about to start. Oh, she's finally going to sing it. I'm not going to sing it. Don't stop. You got it, George. No, 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 I can't. I just doesn't can't. have the same ring. In the moment, I was right there. I was right about to like go over the singing hill, but I, but I paused. You're more of a learner than a singer. I break it. I think it. we can all agree yeah. on that. So I really, again, it sounds kind of cheesy to be like, keep, be a learner, you know. But honestly, there's so many things that change in the financial world. Some of it can be really confusing and hard to understand. But if you kind of keep up and know, okay, what's going on? What are the trends I need to avoid? Where are things that I actually could grow and learn in? Because what I'm doing right now isn't working. All of those questions are so important. And George, we do this all the time. We read articles, we research. My brain hurts. I'm constantly learning so much. I know. I'm constantly reading articles, looking at Twitter threads, and all kinds of yes. things on the internet just so I can keep up to date. Right. And, and people this is send our, us stuff all the time, too. Yeah. And this is our job. So obviously, we're going to be doing a lot of that. But just for your own personal well being, like, Read books about money. I just read The Psychology of Money. Yes, it's you been were talking a, about it's this. It's so great. It's a great book because even as I was reading through it, I'm like, some of it was really simple. A lot of it's stuff that we teach, and it's just kind of your mindset around money, but it just validated what I was doing and what I believe. And it also challenged me on a couple of things where I thought, oh, that's a really good point. I hadn't thought about it like that. But again, it just expands your mind. So whether it's a book, whether it's a podcast— I don't care what it is. Keep learning and growing when it comes to your money because that's going to help you make decisions. And when you start to do that, I feel like it just ingrains in who you are and creating good money habits. Oh, that's yeah. the goal is like it just becomes second nature to you, especially I, if you I have great like, input coming in. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I feel like you. if, you're, if you're constantly reading versus just consuming media and Netflix, I feel like you're li you have a better quality of life. Like the I people who are that. like, I've read seven books this month. They have their life together. More than the guy who's like, did you catch episode three of, <laughs> of Selling the, Sunset, you know? <laughs> Which I know we love Selling don't Sunset. Don't hate on Selling no Sunset. Shade. It's a great But you show. have a very balanced approach. You read a lot of fiction books. Yeah. You watch a lot of TV. You keep up with pop culture. But you also make time to learn and grow. I, I, I respect true. that. And I'm watching less and less TV these days, George. Wow. I know. I don't feel like as up on the Netflix game. What about Ted Lasso? I know, it's out. So I hear we've not watched it Oh yet. my gosh. Is it so good? Put down the book and watch some TV. No, Rachel. I've watched the first two seasons. I haven't watched the new one. Okay. Good start so far. We're deep in it now, so no spoiler alerts. Okay. Don't, don't give away too much. Next up, talk with a financial advisor. So if you're on baby step four, which means you're out of debt, you have a fully funded emergency fund, now you're investing 15% into retirement, make sure you've got a financial pro in your corner. Even if you or your spouse, you're well-versed in financial topics. I mean, Rachel's a giant nerd, and she still has a financial <laughs> advisor that they work with. Do you have one, too? Yes. Because you're a bigger nerd than me, George, I would I say. I know. I love these. I mean, I, I pepper them with questions where I'm like, they're, I'm probably annoying them. Because I'm like, wait, tell me more. <laughs> I, I want to learn more. What about the withdrawal rate? Okay. So <laughs> we talk about finances for a living, and we still seek out guidance yes. from what we call SmartVestor pros. These are financial advisors that our team vets. We trust them to keep you on track with your investing plan. And let me say this, Rachel. It's not just about picking the right mutual fund. There's so much more that they do. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I mean, they get into everything. A, a great financial planner will sit down and look at your whole picture. And again, we do this every January with ours. And it's like, and it's amazing. Even when we're talking about our giving, he's like, well, you can open up this thing and give out of here and it helps with tax. And I'm like, what? I didn't yes. know that. I mean, like the stuff that they know, because they live in this world so deeply, it's unbelievable. And they see your blind spots. They see the yes, stuff you're not seeing because they're, you know, 30,000 foot view looking at this. And they Unbiased. have experience with other customers. So that's what I found. Even our advisor was like, yeah, I had a guy in here yesterday, and we did this, this, and this because of this. 
And I was like, oh yeah, there's other people in the world that are doing, having, you know, come to you too. So like, they just You're have- You're not the first one to encounter this. That's right, yeah. They have a lot of experience. And again, they're looking over your whole picture, which is so helpful. Yeah, like tax planning, estate planning, yeah. a holistic retirement strategy. And it gives me confidence and peace that what I'm doing is right. That's right, absolutely, so absolutely. So we're gonna put a link in the description if you wanna get in touch with one of these smart investor pros in your area. Yes, all right, last but not least is to cut the fat in your budget. Okay. Get it out of here. Get it here. out of there. Get it Put out of here. Put that budget on a little diet. Because what's hard about a budget, or I feel this way, if you've been doing it for a while, especially if you've been doing it for a while, you just have line items in there and dollar amounts that maybe you just you just roll over month to month to month to month. That's how we are. And we went back and reevaluated our budget this year. And I was like, oh, yeah, well, we have X amount in this line item because it's just how it's always been. Like, that's how, and you question that status quo and question, do we still need this? Should we still be doing this? Uh, and again, it helps with just like looking at subscription. I don't know, everything holistically of the expenses of the month, you're able to look at and say, okay, question, do we need this? Uh, you know, like we, on Tuesdays, Amelia does gymnastics. So we always go to Chick-fil-A on Tuesdays. And it's just Ooh, like, it's what it's you do. It's a tradition now. It is. It's the tradition and it's fine. Uh, but we've recently switched to soccer, George. So Whoa. we're stopping gymnastics. So tomorrow night is Tuesday, actually. What we're happens this, now? I said chili in the crock pot because her practice is a different time. Boo. All of it. And I was like, bye, Chick-fil-A tradition. It's over. I thought you were going to be like, we're moving on to Sonic now. Yeah. <laughs> Soccer Sonic Tuesdays. I know. So again, it's a, it's a change in schedule and things, but it makes you question, oh, well, we've just always done that, and now we're changing it, and it actually will probably end up saving That's money. That's a good call. Any other things you've cut in the budget recently where, like, we realized we didn't we didn't need that? Uh, two subscriptions, George. Whoa. Yeah, I know. So we did a Showtime subscription. Speaking of TV, we're back to that. Uh, succession. I oh, think it was Showtime, okay. right? Is that right? It was Potentially. Whichever. And so we watched like three or four episodes. We got into it, and then you, we fall off. We fell off the train. But you're but still we were, paying for we were it. Still paying for it. And I was like, Ugh. so we Cut mixed that, and out. then Hulu because the Kardashians. I watched all the Kardashians, and that's the only reason I got the Hulu. Is it over now? Or so, are they still so going? Winston was like, "Can we cut Hulu?" And I was like. I never watch it, but I don't know why that hurt. Like I, well, it's I feel emotional. Like I you have an emotional keep attachment to Hulu. Why? Yeah, and I don't know why because I don't. Watch Hulu until the Kardashians come back on. So I'll probably resubscribe and wow. binge the Kardashians. Anyway, so it's that kind of stuff that I'm like, That's oh big. man. So wow. even my like iCloud, I pay for Dropbox yeah. and iCloud because I want extra backup. Drop wow, I double backup. No, but I cut that one in because I was like, I just need like the double. I cut a big one, Rachel, and it, made me, it was like a weight <gasps> off my shoulders, literally, because I cut my gym membership. <gasps> How many months did you not go? I don't know if, don't know if you go. can tell how often <laughs> I've been to the gym the last few months, but it was a total of two since 2023 started. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Not terrible. I, I went two times. I got so stressed the last time I was oh, there no. because all the bros are that they know what they're doing. Oh, it's the worst. They're it's, focused. I, yeah, I can't do it. it makes and me I show up. I'm, I don't know what to do. I go yeah. to the sauna and just go home. <laughs> so I cut it, but then I was like, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get a refund. <gasps> and they refunded me. They Yes. George Campbell, well done. So I got hundreds of dollars back. So there's your pro tip. Cancel, but then also ask for a refund. You're like, Just hey, I didn't use it. It's not what I expected. I don't know what to do. Would you, would you be willing to give me a refund? That's amazing. So, That's but amazing. it felt good getting that out of my budget. Just in time for lawn care season to start. Plug it back in then. So now we got Use our that money somewhere mode. else because it's great. I know. That beats the gym any day. For Watching sure. someone mow your lawn while you eat ice cream. <laughs> This is better for my stress level, but which is overall very important to my audit. health. The so. budget audit, it sounds so lame and nerdy, but it is so freeing because yes. it's addictive. Yes. Like, where else can we cut? Let's check our insurance. I don't insurance. know about that. Let's cut the subscriptions. Ah, you're sounding like my Let's husband Let's stop now. eating out. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I know. It She's makes me nervous. Makes me nervous. She's like, oh my gosh. Because that's my what husband. What would be the He's one like, thing? How about the, the miscellaneous category? We have a set amount for that. Yes. That we've had for years. And it's just it's my, it's my safety. It's just, it just feels good to have a lot because I know I'm going to be spending money on stuff that I don't know what category. And it's just a What's safe place. What's an example of something to, where you're like, what would fall into that? he wants to shrink it. He wanted to shrink the miscellaneous category. I was, like, I was like, Winston, we can't Winston. shrink that. Like, if you're that watching Winston, security. don't take that away from her. It's all she has. No, it's my security blanket. That's what it feels Gosh. like. I, I need Why that amount. strip us of all our joy, Winston? <laughs> He's not watching this anyway, so I can say all of this. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, so yeah. It's, it's good lot. though. It's good to do though. It's good to challenge yourself. It's good to challenge yourself because you'll end up saving money. So that's what it's all about. Okay, so those are six pretty simple money moves. It could feel like a lot. So listen, I'm gonna just challenge you. Try to do all six this year. That's good. And you could save thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of dollars on some of this. So 
It will upgrade your finances. You will find some cash, and I promise it will help so, so much. So. Yeah, you'll get a gold star if you do all six and you report back to us with how much money you saved. I don't know what we'll do. We'll, we'll send them something. Uh, for sure. Absolutely. I'll make that promise. We'll figure it out, but yeah. It's the honor system, okay? Don't lie to me. Don't lie. Be truthful. Be truthful. George, thanks for coming on. Always a pleasure. I know. It's so. This is also helpful because, again, helping you guys find some margin in your budget is it's what, it's what we love. It's, it's what it's about. We love to do that. So, uh, George, you have some pretty uh, big news. You want to share it? Huge news. You want to share it? Yes. I was really jealous of your YouTube channel, <laughs> and so I'm finally getting one of my own. The George Camel YouTube channel is coming to your eyeballs April 3rd, and the content is going to be fun and snarky and deep dives covering all the trends, all the traps, helping you understand what the heck is going on out there with money, how it affects you, and I hope you tune in. You're gonna do great. Thank you. I I need encouragement. As a YouTuber, it's scary, because I feel like the old guy in the room. Okay, see, yes, and I know y'all are watching on YouTube, so I know you're here. I don't feel like plugged into like the YouTube crew. I feel like you are, though. I feel like you're like, you're the trendsetter, George. Wow. Go out there and fly. Well, fly and be free, George. I need this to fly. So Make here's how we do that. You all need to go and subscribe to the channel right now so that this plane can get off the ground. Yes, seriously, go subscribe. Appreciate that. Because what we mentioned earlier in this video about, you know, filling your your brain with knowledge with money is really important. And George, that's what I'm gonna, here for. You're gonna do a great job with that. They call me the brain filler. <laughs> sure. Just the nickname that we all wanted. That we all wanted. I've done worse. <laughs> All right, you guys, make sure again, go subscribe, check out George Camel's new YouTube channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to share this video with a friend who you know would enjoy. And remember to take control of your money and create a life you love.